so we need to... I might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? Ooh, 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 what, you got a better one? Ooh. A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking! Ah, uh, think somewhere else! Stop singing! For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cammy is. Done. Go ahead and grab it. Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! <sighs> this is me singing a song. I hope you like it because <laughs> oh, I don't. Wow, she hates your voice. Fuck you! It's good. She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit. The emergency door controls. Yes! Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Come on, come on. Come to Papa. Don't go this side. song someone wrote blah 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 no 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 we're not really doing this are we i mean Dumb shit. Song someone wrote. Wrote uh, something, something, note for note. Peter, do I really have to do this? I mean, Cammy's a space llama, one who apparently doesn't even like my voice. Ugh. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. La, 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 la. Uh. Don't worry, B. <laughs> la, 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 la. la. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move. Don't worry, be happy. You Move. try not worrying and being happy. Stranded flark knows where, locked in my flarkin' room, saying to the dumbest flarkin' creature in the galaxy! You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I told him not to keep it on the ship. I told him it would do it. Move. 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 Just a little bit more. Be 
kidding me? Just a little bit. Sing to it, all right. I'll sing this thing to death is what I'm gonna do. La 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 Don't worry, be happy. You try not worrying and being happy. Stranded Flark knows where, locked in my Flark and Roll. Guardians of the Galaxy. And this is the best plan we could come up with, huh? You gotta be kidding me. Just a little bit to go. I told him not to keep it on the ship. I told him. Now we can. <laughs> So called Guardians of the Galaxy, and this is the best plan we could come up with, huh? You gotta be kidding me. I don't think read your face will frown and that will bring everybody Don't worry be here Snow's where locked in my flark in room singing to the dumbest and this is the best plan we could come up with huh <laughs> Move. <laughs> I am tired of the shit. And this is the best plan we could come up with, huh? You gotta be kidding me! Why doesn't she move? I told him not to keep it on the ship. I told him it would do everything. And now we gotta sing to this thing? Oh, I'll sing to it all right. Sing this thing to death is what I'm gonna do. La 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 la! Don't you worry! She's not kidding me at all. Can I make me sing right now? To someone who doesn't eat. Beep, 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 beep. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry, be happy! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> don't you worry! Come on. Take, well, like, oh. no okay, come on, girl. Give yeah. it a little nibble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys, I think she's doing it. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. Finally. Well, that's a flark in relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find... 
Look, your to emphasis, friend, right? And it's still our friend. And don't I'm gonna pause for a you... second. No, no, I just need you to just turn to well, Ben. Any other nope. Good. Then let's go find our friend. Finally, we are off to Volume Groot. Okay, here we go. Some strange looking. Not this place. place. You know where we are? In a flock in Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey! I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, this stuff is gross. Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, wet fur is the worst. Ah! Ah! Fuck it. You all right? That is so dry. That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet, and I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Okay. So this looking thing. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister, and it's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. So I don't see any components here. Let's find out. Okay, not going this way. You know, for someone who's been here before, you ain't saying a whole lot. It's so vast and beautiful. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh, Don't fall and you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Well, even if he did, he knows how to swim. Unlike some people. <laughs> yep, swimming ain't the problem. Getting wet is the problem. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket? Yeah, what does Scott Quill? Drax is the one in need right now, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help him. We all are. <gasps> Found Drax. Lying scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No! She called me here! To mend my lost! Rocket, a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Hi, guys! Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that? Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> oh my man. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. She got dragged down and she's popped. 
It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him, here. You control and stop. And here we are, where the Kotadi take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... <coughs> Peter, <coughs> focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katadi? I am... Um... Uh, plant people like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotadi are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist what? beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. What I was talking about there. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. He stopped. Our only hope of entering and is to appeal to their infinite mind. wisdom. <laughs> Jax's mind is like a child's play to her. She is powerful. So I guess there were no components. Or uh, we would have stopped. Uh, what are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky. Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine-ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only green me needs friends. Watch out! Double floor! Phew! I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Not yet! Whoa! This place is really unstable. The cave's gonna kill us all. Well, no, not all of us. Not this time. Okay, let's search for... Okay, so no components here. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold and wet. Just keep moving once you're in. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate futures. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. So, maybe the current's a little stronger than I thought. Don't stop moving, Peter. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Think buoyant thoughts. And, and also what Gamora said, the whole cool. keep moving your legs thing. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Poor little fuzzy. Hi-ya! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets me more up. I doubt it. Nebula wasn't your fault, Gamora. You know that, right? What's she talking about? You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. 
Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him, and then he kills us all. Any ideas, Gamora? Only one, and I don't think he can help us right now. Nope, Draxy Waxy's under my spell. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Hey, Giddy up! The headcase ain't even talking galactic anymore. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket. I got this. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, Think of all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He drags a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Katafian custom. I guess this spot he just made is not that stable enough. <sighs> A lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can get another big guy. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Who? Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Would we be worried about this fog? living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, Earth's and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? Yeah. There has always been a great power here. here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. What kind of stories do the priests tell? Legends of lingering souls trapped in stone. Can't you feel their residual hum? I feel like we're being watched. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! 
है रन Okay then. Taking this. Uh, I guess we are done here. Brute says we should check things out over here. And we are done with. Let's move on. What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. There's something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. Ooh, spooky. We ain't being watched. No one in the right mind would be in this flacking cave of flark and wonders. What's going on? Sir Groot feels the intrusive eyes watching us. Don't worry, my flora, I feel them too. What the floor? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Ooh. Incoming! No, I don't think you can communicate with these ones. Sure are a lot of things living in this sacred cave. the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave! Who? Oh, bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom! Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine, whatever. <coughs> uh, smells like did. rotten spike eggs in here. Okay, send the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the way us. We'll each need to face our fears. Some fear, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Yeah, no, I just Is do. Is there a poison? Screaming 
enemies lost in an ocean of lies, we need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself. Focused on Drax. I am Groot. Yes, caring for Cammy. Wait, who's Cammy? It's a long story. Ooh, my favorite kind. Hey, Groot, buddy, think you could lift this? I'm Groot. That's great, right there. No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole shot. Drax really did seem to care about the Nova kid, didn't he? Always wanting us to do right by her. Even when it was clearly a bad idea. Of course, little fuzzy clear. Under that angry exterior is a heart of gold. Okay, then. I don't think... We can use that... Anywhere else. Come on, good. Find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This cave is multifaceted. You uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well... I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Okay. Where are you going, Quill? Just following my gut on something. Ah, there's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too. A pair of eyes watching. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. Okay, so how do we... To see any way... Okay. Found another way! Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was going to do? I don't know. 
I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do we even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes. But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. She's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Okay. okay. So Here goes nothing! Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't know, use The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before. Flarkin, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. <gasps> oh, that's it. I'm going in. Rock it. And get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. The bug lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax. So we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, no. Do. I'm done with all the riddles. Don't let, mm -hmm. let do whatever you're Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Fuck it! Fuck it! Feels like I see this a lot. You want to know the plan? Yep. We can run! Yeah, that was a good run. Close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. We're trying to help you! Why does this always happen? Groot, can you tell him to stop? I am Groot. Little Fuzzy's in a mood. We're probably going to die. Did she or did she not say this thing is in our way? Yes, but... Rocket! Rocket! Feels like I see this a lot. You want to know the plan? Yep. They can run! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, the matriarch. This is ah! We're trying to help you! Ah! It's okay. One where I fail. Is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys, check it out! I'm totally not dead. Ugh. What? You almost 
killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that! Charlie! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Brad after you almost killed us all! And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! <laughs> Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! No mercy! We have to agree with you more! Eyeball guys, yes! What I don't get is why they be here! Feel free to ask them! Man, what is this, like the worst timeline? That one was looking at me funny! Look out! Sorry to burst your bubble! We're just with our Waiting to drop us! Payback from Hellbender is literally the last thing we need right now! Ha! Hold it! Need I remind you that you are the reason she's hunting us? Don't these guys know how to let bygones be bygones? Hey! At least they didn't bring an army of them jelly things with them! Do you imagine? Man, I hated those things! If you were saying? You had to jinx up, didn't you? Hey, anyone notice that this happens to be the monster I said? I suppose you want credit for that, too? Watch it! Keep the breathing room, crew! If you'd run away, you might have lived. I can't hit the middle! <laughs> Open the armor cause 
bothering you though right what thing i'm fine let's just focus on helping drax <laughs> he's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things uh, i don't think that any of those were real not really real anyway their attacks felt real enough maybe they were real just how far down does this cave go heads up more than rock monsters maybe we just got off on the wrong foot they're rock people Come on, 
cut that! Well, as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word. No. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe this is smart enough to not wander around it. Unlike some people. <laughs> I know why we're doing it, and don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Conversation. What for? I think it was because he didn't care for his house yet, but didn't want to be rude and tell them to leave. Yeah, that. Sunlight. Does that mean there are holes on the surface that lead all the way down here? Maybe that's it. All these jerks who keep attacking us fell in and got stuck. I'll have to tell the priests about the big baddies down here. Once we cure Drax, maybe we could capture a couple. What the flock for? Don't know. Maybe give them to Hellbender as a peace offering? Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like... Medium way. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Shit, never mind. What? 
What's a big ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Buros, giver of light and life. In our case, I'd settle for some shelter. Just a plant plant, not a you plant. And we ain't got much choice. What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, would we get another gun? It... it must still be stuck somewhere. That's one big beanstalk. Gamora, let's climb up there, get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Uh. Hey, Bug Lady. Exactly how many times do you see us die horribly? Fear the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Dot dope. Who's I? Who's I? Mantis, any of those realities will be rocking the hypothetical. Oh, yeah. Hypothetically speaking! Oh, little fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. Like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Okay. I could try blowing it up. I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Bad, you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe them in your sleep. <laughs> yes! I can't believe that worked. Half worked. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. All right, I'm on it. Still holding on. I told you to go before we left the ship. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind, focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't... Meh. Nice shot, Peter! Oh, uh, thanks! That's why they call me Star-Lord! Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath? Oh, you know he has some Katath in a fairy tale related to our current situation. Bad boy, rocket, go! Huh? Uh, Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really.
What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. This crap corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet yeah. part. What now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> if I was dead. Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just the lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water, and it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Clark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our chins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness. Remember the deal, Quill. You find anything shiny, we split it. Seems less dark through here and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Uh, until it is. What's that supposed to. Shh. I don't. More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's the creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. Moore's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. What do you know? Hellraisers! I know what I heard! place has a mind of its own. Not mine. Force. Anyone else getting day job? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Nova Corps. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. No flarkin' way! I heard jelly! It doesn't matter who's right. You can't trust the here. It's like this fog is messing with us! Sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. What? 
Can we go back? Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shitari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I'm with Groot. Shitari. I'll never forget those things as long as I live. This ain't no time to close. It's like a Mora set. Something's messing with us. Definitely hear more of Hellbender's goons. something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was the key. With the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. Ugh. Don't be frustrated, little fuzzy. They're all still alive. It's super rare. What are these guys now? Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close. You finally figure out what we're here for? No way. But I do know it won't be very easy, especially not for you. How did she reach there? Again. Groot? 
I only know that if we succeed in helping Green Meanie, we stand a chance. The cosmic energies will realign and a new series of possibilities will emerge. That sounds confusing. Definitely. that? No, what is it? Rushing water. Lots of it. Oh, and the odds of you drowning are getting higher and higher. Just like that. In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great. Give us something to walk on, will you? Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save that. Let me get back to you. How do you know we're getting closer? The lies inside Green Meanie's mind are starting to act up. Okay. One last time! Wow. It's fine! I don't remember this part. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. <coughs> Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay. This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. And I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone and this far for gone. anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um. Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? right? We are gonna fight. You're down here, kicking ass Our for Drax. No. Not Drax, the just... And Gamora, get revenge and what... But doesn't this... Oh, I feel so uh, uh, No, no, come to and pretty good. Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't yeah. anyone stop me? Oh, You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Can't we make it create something friendly? It would just make the evil version of it, like these guys. Get that rock! 
Target! Please just save Drax already. Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, 
Let's finish this, because I sure as Flark didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Katathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. We're here. Home of the healing light, source of the cure, origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt. How the? You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. Cannot quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. So I guess this is it. Oh. Nice. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance, a first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plains, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. 
Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause uh. can coalesce. Uh. uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsock. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Uh, there's the big galoot. <laughs> that was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop digging. Until he accepts what's been. I'm not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> After him, Starlight! I don't know this part! Drax! <laughs> Please be something soft and... <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, hey, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. So tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target wreck. Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand. You fight a phantom. We are given form. It is a futile foray. He said no. Yeah, I got that one, thanks! Fortune favors failure. Is that supposed to mean something to us? At this rate, we're gonna be outnumbered! It's like he can't be killed! As far as Drax is concerned, he probably can't! This has got my name on it! Yo! Oh! Is that supposed to mean something to us? Just 